To solve this problem, let's first draw a timeline. Minus 12 months is one year ago. There was $1,200 due. Uh, six months ago, there was $1,000 due. These two payments are to be replaced by a payment of $800 now or today. We'll call this zero or now. And I'll put this in red. This will be $800 today. And also a second payment of $1,000 nine months from now. Nine months. And that would be $1,000. And last of all, a final payment in 18 months. And we'll call that X since we don't know what it is. Now, uh, the three payments of $800, $1,000, and an unknown amount X due in 18 months is to replace the two payments, are, are to be used to replace the two payments of $1,200 and $1,000 in 12 months ago and six months ago from now. The interest rate is 6.8% compounded quarterly, and we're asked to find the final payment. So the easiest thing to do is to use 18 months as the focal date. You can use any focal date, but uh, the easiest is to use um, 18 months. And that way it's less calculations. So what we do is we bring all monies to the focal date. like this. We look at the times from here 12 months to 18 months that's 30 months. Six months ago to 18 months is 24 months. Now to 18 months is 18 months and 9 months to 18 months is 9 months. The interest rate is 6.8% compounded quarterly. So what we need to do is to find the number of quarters. There are three months in every quarter. So 30 divided by 3 will be uh, 10, 10 quarters. 24 months, 3 months per quarter. 24 divided by 3 is 8 quarters. 18 months, 18 months, 3 months per quarter. 18 divided by 3 is 6 quarters. And again, 3 quarters for 9 months. What we need to do next is we equate them. So um, the, the red, we'll call the red as the, the, the new payments, right? The replacement payments, and the blue as the original or old payments. So new equals old. So what we do is we say we start with here, that's x plus the future value of a thousand dollars for nine months. So that's a thousand dollars. One plus and our interest rate is six point eight percent divided by Four, since this compounded quarterly is 1.7 percent per quarter. So 1 plus 1.7 percent and we bring uh, this one forward in time three quarters. Plus, next, we bring the $800 forward to the focal date. 1 plus 1.7 percent, the same interest rate, and we say six quarters for here. So these are the replacement payments at the same time, 18 months. They should be equal to the future value of this, which is the $1,000. And that's for 8 quarters. Plus the future value of $1,200. And that is for 
10 quarters. Solve, and we have our answer. So we'll take our calculator. Just put it to here for now. And we're going to solve these. So we're going to use our calculator. You can actually um, just work these out. 1.017 to the power of 3. So I'll put 1.017 exponent 3 equals and times 1,000. And that's $1,051.87. I'm going to also show you how to do it using your financial calculator. So first of all, the way I do it is I set PY, second function PY equal to 1, down arrow CY equal to 1, and I leave it that way. Um, N is 3, 3, N. The interest rate is 6.8 divided by 4, which is 1.7 for I. The present value is 1,000. I'll make it a negative since I want my answer to be positive. Present value. I'll put zero in for my payment since this is a not an annuity. And I say compute the future value. 1051.87 is this first one. So let's write that in. Thousand fifty one eighty seven. And I won't write the rest of the decimal places, but I will keep them in my calculator. Plus I'm going to use my calculator for this. Since 1.7 is already in my calculator, I'll just put it in again to show you. 1.7 is interest, 6 quarters for N, and 800 negative for my present value. Payment is still zero. I can do it again, but I don't need to. Compute future value, 885148. Store 2. equals um, next I'm going to compute the blue numbers or the original payments I have thousand negative for my present value eight for the number of quarters everything else remains the same Compute the future value. 1144373 store 3. I'll just write that in. 114437. And again, I don't write all the decimals, but I keep them in my calculator. Next, the last one, 1,200 negative, present value, 10 quarters, and compute the future value, 4. Now I'm going to compute these. So I need to add these two. So I'll just show the steps. X plus 
1051.87 plus recall um, 2, which is 885148 equals 1937 and 2 cents. So I'll just store that somewhere where I'll remember it. Store 7. 1937 018 equals 3, that's that number, plus recall 4, that's that number, equals, and I'll store that somewhere where I, where I will remember, store 8, 2564708, so, and then I solve. So 2564.708 uh, 6, minus recall 7, which is where I put that, 1937.018, and the answer is 627.69. Is there missing replacement payment? And that's how much. needs to be uh, that's uh, what X needs to be to replace those two payments.